Hi, my name is Richa and I work as a program manager in Solid Waste Management team in CSE. Menstrual Hygiene Day is observed on the 28th day of the 5th month of the year because menstrual cycles average 28 days in length and people menstruate an average of 5 days each month. Poor menstrual health and hygiene undercuts fundamental rights including the right to work and go to school for women, girls and people who menstruate. Keeping this in mind, the theme of this year's was Making Menstruation a Normal Fact of Life by 2030. But menstrual awareness needs to be accompanied with environmental consciousness, which means making menstrual health and products greener. India generates nearly 12 billion disposable sanitary napkins every year typically made from polypropylene and superabsorbent polymer powder which is sodium polyacrylate. As a result, the management and safe disposal of sanitary waste consisting of soil disposable napkins is challenging for all the urban local bodies in India. Sanitary pads disposal can be done by deep burial, pit disposal and thermal treatment. The most convenient and commonly adopted method for commercial establishments is through locally made small-scale incinerator plants. Cities like Pune and Bengaluru and states like Goa have installed small-scale sanitary waste incinerators in schools and colleges. Last year, the Delhi government announced the installation of sanitary napkin incinerators with smoke control units in the toilet blocks for girls in 550 Municipal Corporation of Delhi schools. Modern incinerators operating at 850 to 1100 degrees Celsius and fitted with special gas cleaning equipment are able to comply with the international emission standards for dioxin and furans. The European Waste Incineration Directive recommends incinerators reach a temperature of at least 850 degrees Celsius for at least 2 seconds to ensure full breakdown of toxic substances. But in most of the locally made incinerator plants, combustion takes place at relatively lower temperatures. Dioxin formation happens at a temperature range of 200 to 800 degrees Celsius with a maximum reaction rate reached between 350 to 400 degrees Celsius. A mix of chlorine and plastic in disposable pads when burned releases extremely hazardous carcinogenic gases including dioxin furans when burned at low temperatures. Dioxin and furans are toxic and bioaccumulative which means that they are able to move up to the food chain in the nature. Chronic exposure to harmful gases could be disastrous for the girls and women who use these toilets on a regular basis. Therefore, it is highly recommended that incinerators should not be installed in closed rooms or toilet blocks where the risk of emissions being generated into the room is high. The outlet pipe should lead outside the room to an appropriate height and away from the people. According to the Solid Waste Management Rules 2016 and CPCB guidelines, an incinerator facility should be installed at least 500 meters away from the residential area. This contradicts the installation of decentralized small-scale incinerators in schools and colleges. Preferably, the centralized biomedical waste incinerators at CBWTFs, where the waste is burnt at high temperature, 900 degrees Celsius, ensures complete combustion of the waste. However, there are only 208 CBWTFs in the country. It is important to note that disposable napkins are 90% plastics which are typically non-biodegradable in nature and can persist in nature for hundreds of years. Less polluting options include menstrual cups and reusable clothes. Therefore, there is an urgent need to switch to sustainable menstruation which is all about being aware of the negative environmental impacts of disposable sanitary products which eventually contributes to plastic waste generation and ends up in our oceans and landfills. To know more about science, climate change and environment, head to the Down to Earth channel linked in the description box.